Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Emma Corrin is a red carpet chameleon. On Monday, July 22nd, at the world premiere of Deadpool Wolverine in New York City, Corin, who uses they slash them pronouns, arrived in a bold pantless ensemble. Most know Corin, 28, for their role as the demurely dressed young Princess Diana in The Crown. However, they turned heads in a strapless, high-cut, bedazzled black bodysuit that they matched with a pair of black sheer tights. The Emmy winner topped the look off with a black fur shawl that was draped across their décolletage. The look was completed with a pair of black patent leather pointed heels that included scallop details. The outfit was elevated with their dark and moody glam. Corin wore their signature pixie cut slicked back with their bangs swooped across their forehead. Corin's jet black pixie cut is a stark difference from their blonde bob as the late Princess Diana and their bald look as villain Cassandra Nova in the MCU film. The moody look didn't stop there. Corin's makeup included a black and burgundy smoky eye that accentuated their deep burgundy lipstick and black manicure. Corin kept their accessories minimal, drawing all eyes to the ensemble itself. They wore a three-layered diamond tennis bracelet, a singular diamond band and a pair of intricate diamond drop earrings. Before the screening, Corin changed into a muted metallic mini and black pumps. At the Monday event, Corin exclusively spoke to our channel about the costuming and physical transformation they endured for the latest Deadpool installment. I mean, I had a bald cap, they tell our channel. It was basically just a lot of time in hair and makeup is what it was, adding they also had long prosthetic fingers. They explained that they couldn't do anything during the day. Great for my screen time. Not so great for going to the bathroom alone, they joked. I always had someone with me. It was very humbling. Corin added that they took inspiration for their villainous character from Christoph Waltz in Inglorious Bastard. They noted that the character from Quentin Tarantino's film was Ryan Reynolds' reference for the character during the production. The My Policeman actor adds that they were really inspired by Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka, adding, sort of a nonchalant, detached power. The Our Channel Puzzler crossword is here. How quickly can you solve it? Play now. Ahead of the July 22nd premiere, Corin arrived to the Deadpool Wolverine press tour in several daring looks. On July 11th, they wore two other monochromatic black outfits, including a casual shirt dress for a press conference and a custom Mio Mio little black dress for a cast photo call. Just five days before, when the tour kicked off on July 7th in Berlin, Corin wore a high-neck Saint Laurent dress with statement shoulders and a belt around the waist, sheer knee-high socks and ankle strap heels. Never miss a story, sign up for our channel's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what our channel has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. Deadpool Wolverine hits theaters on July 26th.